This video is about how to break any addiction. So what do we do in order to break an addiction? Setting up your environment. That's late. All it is, all breaking addictions is and building habits is increasing friction between that, making it harder to do the bad habit and easier to do a good habit. Just priming your environment. Examples of this, if you wanted to eat healthier, you need to have your your house must be filled with healthy food. Imagine you your house was full of healthy food. How are you gonna eat unhealthy? You're gonna have to drive all the way to the store, intentionally buy shit food, and do that. So you have to set up your environment for success. That's what nobody thinks. People breaking addictions, they don't know how to do it. Just set up your environment. That's the first step. Another example of this saying you wanted to break an addiction towards, I don't know, maybe you're addicted to social media. A lot of people are. It's fine. The way you would do that is just start off by deleting it off your phone. It's adding that friction. You're going to have to go for the effort of reinstalling and doing that so you can get it back on your phone. So the first step towards that is deleting it off your phone. Maybe set up a system in place. Tell somebody, if I go back on social media, I have to give you $5, some shit like that. Make it so there is. Make it just a general rule of thumb for any addiction you want to break. Make it harder to do that. Add it. Make it not rewarding. This is, there's this book called Atomic Habits that will go through all of this if you have the time to read it. It essentially tells you how to build good habits and break bad habits. It's a freaking, it's like the Bible of habit creation. And it has these four categories that a habit is broken into. QK craving response reward. Your Q is when you are inclined to do it. If your cue for going on social media might be whenever you sit down, whenever you get bored, that's your cue to start the habit. The craving is you wanting it. What makes you want it to continue doing it? The, the craving the craving in social media is you're scrolling through it, you're seeing the posts. Yeah, kind of funny posts. Going through people's stories. Entertaining. That's the craving that makes you want to continue doing it. The response is how easy it is to perform the habit. For social media, it's super easy to do it. That's why it's so addictive. You just open your phone and start scrolling. It's easy. Just like doing this motion. Very easy response. And then your reward for doing it is you just feel happy from doing it. That is the reward. You need to tweak these things. These four elements, you need to tweak them in order to make it, in order to build a good habit or break a bad one. These four categories. Here, let me do something on the next page. Here's, look. So if you want to make a habit out of working out, for an example, if you want to work out consistently, you have to tweak these things. <laughs> People don't want to work out because it's hard. So you can sort of set a system in place to make it enjoyable. Leverage yourself to do it. If you don't want to rely on discipline, you can make it a habit. Build good habits. And then there, that other sheet will teach you how to build break bad ones. I still use a lot of things from that book. It teaches you habits are the most essential thing. Every, basically 90% of the things you do on a daily basis are habitual. 